So the topic of the session is statistics. What is statistics? As we know, mathematics has always been differentiated from statistics because statistics is a branch of mathematics which is going to deal with the data or the primary and the secondary data collection through which we do statistics. Imagine we try to study the population of the country every year, every five years in the census. We do calculate the population for every five years and we make a data of all the different five years, say for example for 2014, then 2009 and then 2004, etc. for every five years for which the population is recorded. Now this data is very useful in making some statistical predictions. Therefore, the other name for the topic statistics is data because the first thing which comes into existence for this is data collection. Now every statistical problem deals with the data. How do you collect the data? Say for example, I have 40 students in the class or I have 26 students in the class and I want to record the marks they obtained in mathematics for all those 26 students. Say there are 26 students through which I have the student A1 who got 76 out of 100 in the mathematics subject. Now the student A2 who got say 82 marks out of 100 in mathematics and similarly the student A3 with 64 and A4 with 53 and A5 with 90 and A6 with 27 and say etc. There are different data collections through which the marks are obtained by the student. Now coming with A7 Then A8 is a student who got 74, say, out of 100, and A9 with 76, A10 with 65, A11 with 47, A12 with 54, A13 with 36, a14 with 12 and then now coming to the continued data I take my A14 which is for 36 marks next continued with 12 marks and my 15th student who got the marks 24 and A16 which is 39 a17 which is 41 a18 which is 69 a19 which is 73 and a20 which is 94 next a21 which is 89 and next a22 which is 64 and A23 which is 46 A24 which is 19 A25 which is 53 and A26 which is 69 now I would like to convert this entire data of 16 to 26 students who got the marks in mathematics for their semester exam. So these 26 students who got different marks out of 100, I would like to convert this into a group data. So let's see how I can group the data by taking the students from student one to student number 26 and their respective marks in mathematics. Interestingly, this kind of arranged data is what is the initial step of statistics. Arranging the data is very important in statistics. 
more than understanding the data. So once the data is arranged, we examine, we study the data, and then we make predictions and using different properties of statistics. So let's see how I can arrange this data. Now say for example, I wanted to use these 26 students in the form of a table, a tabular form of arranging this into a grouped data. So for a group data, I take number student number here and marks in mathematics out here in the second column. So the subject of student number comes in the first column and the marks as obtained by the student comes in the second column. Now coming to that, we have the students ranging from A1 to A26 where initially I would start with the students who got the marks or number of students. I can call this as number of students. Now for number of students if the marks are ranging from 0 to 33 then I wanted to know how many students got the marks which are ranging from 0 to 33. So as I see here, I count all the marks which are 0 to 33. I see 1, and in this column, 2, and then 3, and then 4. Therefore, all the students who got marks between 0 and 33 in mathematics are 4 in number. So number of students who got the marks from 0 to 33 are 4 in number. Similarly, I take the students who got the marks from 34 to 50. Then I count all the marks which are between 30, 34 and 50, including 34 and also 50 if it exists in this. Then I count that clearly there are 6 students because as I see here, 34 comes here 1 to 50, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So totally there are six number of students who got the marks between 34 and 50. Next, I want to know the number of students who got the marks between 51 and 75. So clearly I find that there are 10 students because I have 51 to 75, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So totally, I count that there are 10 students who got the marks from 51 to 75. So to continue with, next, I would like to see how many students got the marks between 76 and 100, and I count them. So I obviously see that the remaining of the uncircled marks are obviously the marks which range from 76 to 100 as can be clearly seen here that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 in number which range from marks 76 to 100. So this table clearly gives us the picture of the entire data of 26 students taken into account with their marks obtained in mathematics. Say for these 26 students who obtained the marks in mathematics for the maximum mark standing at 100, clearly my group data will give me an analyzed picture that if this is the table given, I assume that in the entire class of 26 students, the number of students who got the marks from 0 and 33, between 0 and 33 are 4 in number, and between 34 and 40, 50 is 6 in number, 51 to 75 is 10 in number, 76 to 100 is 6 in number. Thus, concluding that we can make many conclusions through this obtained data where I can identify that more number of students got the marks between 51 and 75 is how I predict through the statistical data. So this group data helps me in identifying that there are more students who got the marks between 51 and 75 and there are less students who got the marks between 0 and 33 which shows a good sign because there are less concerns of the students because there are only four students who have been 
with great concern for their improvement in the next examination. So these kind of predictions are done exclusively through the data or more importantly through the group data where in case of this example problem I identify that there are less number of students who got less marks therefore less concerns for the teacher who is teaching the subject and there are more students who got good marks therefore this is not a major concern but definitely a concern on improvement of each and every individual student and how we connect the given data into the group data and apply it using statistics.